Hello there, folks, and welcome to the office. Guess what I got? Guess what I got? Nintendo Switch. Super excited to have my hands on this thing, that's for sure. I've been playing it a little tiny bit, been running around in Hyrule and Breath of the Wild, and it's been pretty fun. However, there was one thing about my Switch that when I originally purchased it, I was not so excited about. This thing. The dock? Dr. Modelot, you don't like the dock. It's what allows you to play your Switch on your television. What are you, a, a television a hater face? No way, no, that's not it at all. I love being able to play my games on the big screen and then switch over to a portable mode whenever I feel like it. But no, my problem was with the design of the dock itself. Yes, it does look quite slick and nice, but it's hiding a dark, dark secret. Scratches! <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, there have been a lot of reports out there of the dock scratching up the Nintendo Switch screen if you're not removing it from the cradle properly. Well, okay, so let's buy a screen protector. That should solve the problem, right? Well, sort of. The screen protector might get scratched up instead, and then you'd have to replace that constantly, and then you'd have to buy another one, and then replace that when it gets scratched, and so on and so forth. Now, I'm sure you could come up with a few different small fixes for this issue, but I found one really cool hardware modification that you can make to your Nintendo Switch dock. This tiny piece of plastic is the Mirian Portable Dock. It provides enough support to hold your Nintendo Switch without covering the screen completely. Now, this... this is just an accessory, you might think. Dr. Modelot, this isn't a mod. Well, it is. It doesn't work out of the box. You see, you actually have to remove the circuit board from your Nintendo Switch dock and put it back together inside of this little cradle. Sounds like a daunting task? Well, don't worry, it's not. So for the first time ever, let me walk you through how to complete a hardware mod for your Nintendo Switch dock. Now, I don't have a camera that I can use to actively record the build process, so instead I took plenty of pictures of each step I did to put this thing together. All you're going to need to complete this mod is a small variety of screwdrivers. Now luckily, the Mirian Portable Dock does include a tri-wing screwdriver and a small Phillips head screwdriver which will both be needed to take apart and reassemble the dock. If you also have a small bit screwdriver kit laying around, go ahead and grab that too, just in case the Phillips head doesn't fit all your screws. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're going to begin here with our Nintendo Switch dock. Lay it face down like this. Lift up the back panel, and you're going to see a lot of screws that need to be removed. Once you've removed all the screws, you should be able to lift off the back panel from your dock. It should look like this now. The dock might be pretty large, but as you can see, the actual circuit board that controls it is only a fraction of the size. The next thing you're going to do is remove a few more screws. As you can see, there are two right here, but there are also some extra screws that are hidden in these holes at the bottom. Now that those screws are gone, it's time to lift our circuit board out of the dock. To do this, you first need to pull back these two clips that are holding it down. Of course, try to be gentle with that circuit board as you pull it away from the two tabs here. Go ahead and gently lift the circuit board up from the rest of the dock. Underneath it, you can see another screw right here, but there are some additional screws hidden in some more holes right below it. Once you remove them, go ahead and rest your dock vertically like this. It's going to be easier to work on it in this position since we still have the ribbon cable here that leads to the Type-C mail plug-in, and also the small LED light that glows in the front of the dock. That LED light is going to be the next thing that we remove from the circuit board. It's going to take a little work to get it out because it's plugged in pretty snug. Just be gentle with it and don't tear the two wires. The next thing that we need to remove from the switch dock is the USB Type-C plug-in. Lay the back half down so that the inside of the dock faces up and the front piece of the dock like this. This should give us some good room to be able to remove the four screws that hold the Type-C connector in place. When the connector is unscrewed from the front half of the dock, the two halves should finally separate from each other. Your next step is to take the Type-C connector and gently lift the black tab on it to be able to remove the ribbon cable. You can put the Type-C connector off to the side for now. Next, gently take the ribbon cable that's still attached to the dock circuit board and gently strain it out enough so that it can be fed out of the back half of the dock. When you do that, your circuit board should now be sitting by itself with the ribbon cable still plugged into it. Normally from here we toss out what's left of the old dock, but I'm not quite finished yet. Some of the reviews of the Mirian Portable Dock said that the LED light on the original Switch Dock doesn't have its own spot on the new portable cradle. 
Some people would throw out this extra piece since it can't be traditionally installed into our new dock, but we're gonna fix that. Go ahead and take the front half of the dock again and remove both the clear plastic piece and the tiny circuit board it was butted up against. Be very gentle with this board. It's small, and it's plugged very snug into the front of the dock. Don't tug on the cables, of course. With a little bit of work, it should slide out of its position. The last thing we need to do is remove the last pieces from the Type-C connector. All you have to do is remove these two screws, but hold on to them because we're going to put them right back into our new cradle. All three pieces should now be removed from the dock. You have your LED light, your Type-C connector, and your dock circuit board. Go ahead and hook everything back up. When you plug in the ribbon cable, the arrow on it will be facing upward along with the Type-C connector. Clamp the black plastic tab down onto it to secure it in position. And before we continue, I'd recommend plugging everything in to make sure your dock is still working properly. As we can see, it is. The little green light is our indicator that the dock is connected to our Nintendo Switch. Perfect. Unplug it and let's start putting everything into our new cradle. But, let's start by installing that LED light. There isn't any spot on the Marion dock to actually put it in, so we're going to use a hot glue gun to create our own spot. Take the top half of the cradle and lay it face down. As you can see, there's a small row of vents along the back of the dock. That's where we're going to attach the LED light. We're going to first glue the small clear piece to the dock. We want this angled part of the fin here to point upwards so that when we seat the plastic piece, it'll sit flat. Go over to the second to last vent on the left side and put a tiny bit of hot glue in front of it. Move quick because this is going to dry pretty fast. Take your clear LED piece and press it down into the glue with the angled fin pointing upward. Some of the fin should also be poking out of the vent and that's exactly what we want. Next, we're going to glue in the small light. If you look at the board, you should see that it looks like a square with a small chunk missing. If you look closely, you can also see where the LED light is on the board. Put down a tiny bit more hot glue behind that plastic clear piece, and press that small LED board down right behind the clear plastic piece. The board should be positioned like this, with the small cutout in the upper right side. Be sure to press that LED light in pretty good. It's going to be a tight fit as you can see here. Your next step is to flip over your dock circuit board and lay it down on the same top half of the Marion dock. You'll know it's incorrect when you have all the USB ports lined up. Your next step is to take three of the black screws included in your Marion kit and screw them into the top three holes of your circuit board. After that, flip over the Type-C plug-in and slide it into this small hole here. The two screw holes on either side of the connector should line up. Use the two small screws we saved earlier and screw them into those two spots. Once you've done that, you're practically finished. All you have to do is take the bottom half and attach to the top half using the remaining black screws included with the Mirian kit, and that is it. Here is your brand new, portable, screen scratch free Nintendo Switch dock. Also, if you'd like to take it one step further, I'd recommend stopping by your local hardware store and pick up a small set of rubber feet that you can attach to the bottom of it. That way your dock won't slide around whatever surface you place it on. If you enjoyed this video, please punch that like button right there. Also, check out Dr. Modala on Facebook for some sweet articles and funnies. Join up with the Seam group to hang out with the Dr. Modala community, and please subscribe to see some more epic mods. This is Dr. Modala. Thank you for stopping by the office.